वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मटेरियल ऑफ कैमसेफ्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाई द कैमसेफ्ट इज मेड ऑफ दैट मटेरियल एंड हाउ इट इज मेड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच द कैमसेफ्ट कैन बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द अरेंजमेंट व्हिच इज बीन यूज्ड for a two stroke engine by man b and w and by the soldier rt engine so let's begin the video with uh, material of the camshaft so what basically the material which we are using for the camshaft is nitride ring alloy steel or medium carbon steel so why nitride ring is done the question come and ask and how it is done so this is the camshaft is You, you can see and nitriding is a process in which we are case hardening means we are hardening the top section of the cam which is subjected to repeated follower up and down movement to make it harden so that it can withstand the hardened top up and down movement of the follower and resist the wear the surface need to be hardened and for that nitriding is done now let's see how it is done Camshaft surface need to be hardened to ensure that it is resistance to wear to have a long life cycle. Okay, and therefore nitriding is done. Okay, I have told you same thing. In nitriding process, the material is subjected to high temperature. Means the camshaft alloy steel is subjected to high temperature and around 500 degrees Celsius, and it is kept in a ammonia gas chamber for a period of 96 hour means in a chamber of ammonia gas filled the camshaft of made up of alloy steel is kept for a period of 96 hour at temperature around 500 degrees celsius now the nitrogen from the ammonia will dissociate and diffuse into the surface of the alloy alloy steel and will form hard nitride this hard nitride is very hard in surface which will resist the wear and increase the life cycle of the camshaft so i hope you understand why the camshaft nitriding is done and how it is done now let's move to the next slide where i am going to talk about the camshaft construction forging method the first method is called forging method which is used for a small engine for a small engine like live boat the camshaft can be forged as a single unit okay forging is limited by size as you know the forging method is limited by size therefore it is used in a smaller engine for a medium size engine forging method can also be used because uh, forging method have a good resistance to wear and continuous grain flow structure can be achieved for that the forging method is preferred but it is limited by size for a medium speed engine camshaft can be made in section means suppose for a medium speed engine like four stroke engine the camshaft is made in section one or two section means for three unit one section and for three unit one section for six unit cylinder unit and that unit can now be joined okay so which can be coupled with the other section so here you can see this is a rotational drive arrangement which is will attach to the gear of the camshaft through camshaft and this is the flange section like this this flange section is attached with the other section and will become a complete crankshaft now the hole in the crankshaft gives the angular displacement of the cam is adjusted by the angular displacement of cam is adjusted by the number of hole in the flange section so what do i mean by angular displacement suppose there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 holes is there so 9 divided by 360 means 360 degree by 9 is 40 degree so each the 40 degree displacement can be adjusted with the help of this means so for each between each hole there is difference of 40 degree so that angular displacement can be adjusted by the number of hole in the flange section that i mean to say now let's see how the camshaft is constructed for larger engine before going to this let me tell you this 
this is the flange section okay if the crankshaft is long enough then also the camshaft need to be made in section but in large engine three different component are used this is the cylindrical section this is the cam profile and this is the coupling means uh, collar joint which is been provided in between now let's see this is all is made placed onto this cylindrical section by hydraulically pressurizing it and shrink fitting it so what i have written here in larger engine the individual cam and shaft are forced separately means this cylinder section this cam profile this part all are been forged separately and then after it is shrunk fitted and after how it is shrunk fitted after hydraulically pressurizing it means the thing will be pressurized and it is shrunk fitted and after that it can be adjusted smaller angle by the help of a oil if a shaft is bigger then it can be made in section and joined by flange as you can see here it is made by a flange section and it can be joined with the other section and same thing applicable here also for the number of hole will also decide the angular displacement of the cam okay so i hope it is clear now let's move to the next slide here the two stroke engine cam arrangement man bmw arrangement in two stroke engine cams are hydraulically sunk fitted exhaust and fuel cam can be adjusted in place by hydraulically pressurizing for adjustment of timing indicator cam are provided which is bolted on the cam shaft so let's see in the diagram here what you can see this is a flange section okay and this is the hydraulic connection which is provided here and this is the indicator cam which is been bolted here so basically here i mean to say the method of construction for man bmw is same means they are strung fitting the whole structure over each other but a small adjustment in man bmw fuel pump and in exhaust valve can be done by a help of this hydraulic connection provided here this will allow a small change in angle if there is any retardation or advancement of the cam is required depending upon the wear of the cam profile now this indicator cam is provided for taking the indicator diagram this is not placed hydraulically this is been bolted to the cam shaft means the two section it comes in two section and this two section is bolted by the bolt okay and this can be removed if uh, not required now let's move to the next slide here in soldier rt engine the coupling the two section means in man bmw the cam which are made in sections are joined by this flange coupling but in soldier rta the cam is made in same process means uh, they are been strung fitted and they can be adjusted by hydraulic connection but the two section of the cam is joined by skf coupling okay in soldier rt engine uses an skf coupling with cam hydraulically shrunk on a to a taper so using skf skf coupling gives a better fit as you know this is been first pressurized and after that here the oil will be injected and it will be pressurized and after that this section will be moved in by this a better grip will be achieved and for that soldier uses that skf coupling method now i hope the basic uh, construction of the cam how the cam is constructed in larger engine and how it is constructed in smaller engine and why the forging method is not used for larger engine is clear and what are the material of cam shaft and why it is chosen is clear okay. friend please do like and subscribe my video and please share if you like it and please remain tuned more cam shaft upcoming series will be uploaded where i will discuss more advanced level of the cam shaft the basic and if you have not haven't watched the part 1 where i have discussed the basic of the cam 
please see in the end screen it will come and please click that and you can also watch that image screen goes to mainresult.co.uk thank you friend